Hello everyone, what's up? I know it's been a while since my last video, but as I said before, my channel update uploads will be a little less frequent, but today I decided I was going to do a little mini-series that I'll probably be uploading sporadically, just talking about a uh, certain problematic Pokemon that I hear a lot of people talk about and how I would either change them to be more fair and basically have a little intelligent discussion about the Pokemon itself. So. I don't know what I'm going to call this series. I guess we'll call it a, I don't know, an analysis of sorts. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video series talking about certain problematic Pokemon. Not not even truly problematic, but definitely Pokemon that people just don't like dealing with. And I feel like you already know where I'm going to go with this. The first Pokemon we're going to talk about is Toxapex. So Toxapex as a mon is really really like obnoxious right that's basically it basically took what shuckle did before with having high defenses and low hp but just did it pretty much better in almost every single way because it has a better typing it has access to recover as well as a protecting move and baneful bunker as well as protect normally it also has haze to stop people from setting up on it. Basically just stuff that Shuckle wishes it had to actually be, you know, good. So pair that also with having Scald as one of your primary moves. That can basically stop you from A, getting permanently frozen, and B, uh, burns physical targets. So it's just incredibly good. Poxpex just basically has almost everything it wants in a wall. But it does have a few weaknesses, such as getting taunted, and obviously it's literal elemental weaknesses to co common types like electric, ground, and also psychic. So we are going to talk about how would we make this better. So obviously one of the most obnoxious things about Toxpex besides its stats is just this ability right here, Regenerator. Regenerator has always been a thing since Gen 5, if I'm not wrong, and it's just an incredibly good ability, especially on a defensive Pokemon, but even on offensive Pokemon, it's incredibly good. So I wouldn't be surprised if Game Freak might nerf this ability sometime in Gen uh, 9 or something like that. But for now, we do have to deal with the ability as it is, and I definitely do think that Regenerator... It's a pretty good ability on Toxapex, but I feel like Toxapex, when it comes to designing walls in a game like Pokemon, you can't just make them, if you want to make them fun to use, but also very effective at their job, you can't give them the Regenerator, I feel, because then they just become very, uh, very brain dead, almost. They become very, very hard to see, become unique, and it's, it's not like Toxapex couldn't have been unique in the first place. Like... Um, I'm sure if you guys remember when Gen 7 came out, a lot of people were talking about this. The fact that Salazzle, an offensive Pokemon, as you can clearly see by its stats and its typing, has the ability Corrosion. But Toxapex has the ability Merciless. These are both unique abilities, by the way. No other Pokemon in the game has these abilities. Besides maybe their pre-evolutions, but... For some reason, they gave the offensive Pokemon a really good defensive Pokemon ability, and they gave the defensive Pokemon a really good offensive Pokemon ability. Why did Game Freak did this? We will never know. I guess they must have felt like Toxapex would have been far too strong with Merciless. I mean, with a Corrosion. And while they are a little correct in that, because Corrosion on Toxapex is definitely good, that would give it a little bit more of a unique identity, I feel. Because when you have Corrosion, you no longer have Regenerator. And it's pretty easy to wear down Toxpex, seeing as it's obviously affected by Sandstorm, affected by all sorts of hazards except for Toxic Spikes. And it has, as I said before, very common weaknesses. And it's incredibly slow. So it's not like Toxpex cannot be killed. It's just hard to kill it, especially with a core of Pokemon that fits its weaknesses. So it can't just come in on attacks and just take a... 80% 80 per, 80 psychic hit and then switch out and then basically get all of its health back. You can't do that anymore if it has corrosion. Which is why I feel like giving it corrosion probably wouldn't have been a horrible idea. 
because now we have this really good wall and also if they get give it corrosion they need to get rid of regenerator for it if they were to if i were to design this mod i would definitely keep the stats as they are because i think a shuckled but good concept is while it is really obnoxious i do think that especially if you're introducing like a lot of new power creep you have to create good walls because i feel like if we didn't get pokemon like toxpex and celestial in gen 7 uh, the power creep would have gotten to the point where it would have become a very, very HO-centered metagame, I feel. Because even though we still have Pokemon like Blissey and Skarmory, uh, I do feel like having more walls makes team building a lot more unique and a lot more uh, free. Even if it does mean that offensive Pokemon just become harder to use because of some of these walls, uh, I feel like having more walls helps a lot but you can't make these walls like super super like obnoxious to deal with right so like obviously toxpex is annoying thing is that it has regenerator uh blissey has natural cure so it can't like stay toxic um then amoongus same thing tank growth with regenerator as well like all these walls have like some really obnoxious uh, thing going on with them and they don't really feel unique they just feel like they come in take an attack use their stab move and then they leave it's like there's no real like threat or interaction there it's literally just their typing that they might be spamming and then just come in and coming in and switching out it's really 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 lame defensive play and it's not like defensive play cannot be fun which is why people really hate uh, the stall archetype because they feel like it's just brainless switching when in reality it's a lot of things at once. But yeah, I do feel like Toxapex could be a lot better designed wise. Uh, so yeah, you would obviously get rid of Regenerator, don't give it this ability because obviously as you can see right now it's still incredibly good even when it's not like super top tier in OU it still does its job incredibly well. And Merciless, I would switch this with Salazzle's ability, Corrosion. So that way, A, Toxpex gets a unique identity, and B, it isn't like super duper broken. Because even though it still has those really good defensive stats, I've seen it in uh, stab mo uh, not stab mods, uh, AAA personally, uh, it really isn't super, super oppressive even with that. Because then you have to actually play with it carefully, and you can't just like throw it out all the time. Which means that the defensive play becomes a little more interactive and a lot less brain dead switching. So, I definitely do think that this is one of the most. In that would be a more interesting ability. And also, you can keep Limber. I don't really care about it not having Limber. Limber on a defensive Pokemon actually seems pretty fucking. I mean, pretty. pretty. pretty good. Not gonna lie. But because it has Regenerator, it doesn't matter. So. Uh, yeah, so Toxapex definitely could be designed better, but as it is right now, uh, it is de it is possible to deal with, but I do not like how it is in the metagame right now, because I feel like, I definitely do think it's one of the most poorly designed mods, because it's literally just blatant, brain-dead defensive Pokemon, and it has way too many good traits. And like very few exploitable weaknesses but I do feel like they were in the right direction with designing this bond especially with new gen power creep but I do not like how they made Toxapex this good it should definitely have more of a glaring weakness I feel so yeah um, those are just my thoughts about Toxapex uh, if you guys liked my little rant on Toxapex uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I think next time I'll talk about Celesteela, and believe me, I have a lot to say about that mod. So, see you guys next time, and in the meantime, stay cool.